I'm Mike McGill. I'm from Encinitas, California. I've been skateboarding for, I think, 42 years. Mike McGill on the Call Pro Team. Let's bring this for his third and final run of the day. My life is skateboarding. Yeah, I guess it, it pretty much is. I mean, I I wake up and uh, have breakfast and uh, go to the skate park and skate. I think when you actually see skateboarding, especially for the first time, not knowing what's going on, it kind of makes you want to want to skateboard. Steve Caballero and myself turned pro at the same time, but we were amateur for a very long time. When we turned pro for the first time, we entered with all the big boys, and I think we both got like dead last. But we were like, hey, we're professional skateboarders now. <laughs> we don't make any money, we don't care, but we're pros. <laughs> you developed a big twist. Are you gonna be able to pull that off here in this pool? Uh, hopefully. You know, it's, uh, it's a big pool, everybody knows that. There's a lot of, it's been a lot of injuries and, uh, but I think if you concentrate and take it easy, you know, I think uh, everything should work out. What I'm known for is a trick that I made, a certain trick called the McTwist. I was the first person in the world to do a 540, which is if you go up on a ramp and you turn around, that's 180, so you got to do another 360 to come down forward. I made this trick at a summer camp in Sweden in uh, 1984. Some of my teammates uh, named it the McTwist. Uh, guy named Rodney Mullen and another guy named Lance Mountain. When I first came to California, I came to the local surf shop and I was like, hey, where's, where's the skateboard section? And they're like, oh, in the back, in the back. Go in the back, underneath the t-shirt rack. Wow. This town needs a skateboard shop. So I found a little place, 200 square feet with no bathroom and I had a skateboard shop and just all of our friends ran it. All right, boys. section there. I gotta turn the lights on here. Find our way back here. Luckily somebody left the lights on for us back here. There we go. All right. This is my lair. This is kind of like a, all my old school stuff. This is an old skateboarder magazine, a Pepsi ad. I think I was 13. I don't know how my parents let me go to Venezuela. I was 13 years old. What are you thinking? I think this is our 30th year. I can't believe it. Um, how old am I? I'm like, I thought I was like 30, wasn't I? I was really, very young when I opened the store. So all these shots uh, were drawn by a skater from LA with a pencil. Um, uh, you got Rodney Mullen, Tommy Guerrero, Lance, Tony, Cab, myself, and uh, of course Animal Chin. So. All right, let's put some lights on for the boys when they get here. I think the computer's going. And ready to sell some boosted boards. What do you say? It's the perfect way for me to get around. Like I can, I can skate to my store to go open the shop. It's only a couple miles away. And I, I just get a kick out of watching people on the street look at me like, what? What is that? It's so new and it's so whatever. And uh, of course, boosted is like the premier company. I'm, I tell my friends, I'm like, dude, these are like the Teslas of skateboard, of e-skateboards, e you know? If you can find something that makes you happy, like skateboarding, like I did, you know, go for it. It doesn't matter if your friends don't like it at the time or, or who doesn't like it. If it, you know, if it brings you happiness, do it. I mean, I was, I've been skateboarding since I'm 10 years old. And now, with Boosted, I can boost it till 101 maybe. You know, I don't, I don't know. Hey, I'm Mike McGill and I like to move fast.